Hi everyone, this is Chef Andrew from Keto Fine Dining and welcome back to my channel. So, when you're on keto diet, it's so important to still eat enough of fruits. But since most fruits have high amounts of sugar, then we have to be very selective of what fruits we choose, right? And as a general rule of thumb, the ones that you should be consuming on a keto diet are the ones that have their name and in berries. So for example, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and others. And the winner in the lowest amount of sugar are strawberries. They're not only the most nutrient and vitamin dense, but also have the lowest amount of sugar, which is only 7 grams of carbs per 100 grams. They're absolutely delicious and everyone loves them. That is why in this video today, I want to share with you how to turn strawberries into a delicious keto dessert. So let's get started. In here, you can see all the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe. The first step is to slice as thin as possible 200 grams of strawberries and then add them to the bowl. Now let's add 2 tablespoons of erythritol sweetener, 3 teaspoons of unflavored gelatin and give it a mix. Gelatin is actually very healthy because of its unique amino acid profile. It can reduce joint and bone pain, increase brain function and especially help reduce the signs of skin aging. Right now, let's add 2 cups of hot water and mix again until everything is fully dissolved. Next step is to pour the mixture into serving glasses and then refrigerate overnight. The next day, once the jello has formed, take it out from the fridge so we can put some delicious whipped cream on top. To make whipped cream, let's take a medium bowl, then add half a cup of heavy cream, and using a mixer, whip the cream until stiff peaks are just about to form. Looks like my whipped cream is almost ready, so I'm gonna add 2 teaspoons of erythritol sweetener and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. It's important not to overbeat the cream, otherwise it will become lumpy and butter-like. Mm -hmm. 
Now all you have to do is to put the whipped cream on top of the jello and you're ready to enjoy this delicious dessert. I really hope you'll try this recipe at home and then let me know in the comments below how it turned out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, then subscribe to my channel so I can make more videos like this one, and I'll see you very soon in the next episode. Bye!